Welcome back. They're more than just the flavor of the month. The Spice Girls are a phenomenon. They're the latest pop group to shape pop culture around the world. And as Steve Irwin reports, this weekend, young fans here in Canada had their lives spiced up. It took 35 years, but the second wave of the British invasion has hit Canadian soil. But this time around, it's not the Fab Four setting young hearts aflutter, it's the Fab Femmes, the Spice Girls. They're the divas of teeny bopper pop, whose songs have become a rite of passage with the die-hard prepubescent female fans. Stop right now! Thank you very much! I need somebody with a human touch! Hey you! Always on the run, gotta slow it down, baby, gotta have some fun! But such youthful devotion was a test of parental devotion. Scalpers were pocketing up to $800 a ticket, but still Spice mums and Spice dads couldn't say no to the dreams of their little girls. Well, to me, it's, uh, it's just entertainment for my girls. Um, for them, it's everything. And uh, I don't mind spending the money. And this one's scary. The band's motto of girl power has translated into massive marketing power. Spice Girl products earn the band an estimated two and a half million dollars a day. And it's not hard to figure out why. They're so pretty! <laughs> and the fans were not disappointed. And if that wasn't enough, an encore performance at a downtown television studio today pulled in thousands more who blocked city streets for hours, all hoping to catch a glimpse of one of the young heroines. While Toronto parents may be cash-strapped after the band's visit, they can find some consolation in knowing they're not alone. The Spice Girls will be cashing in in Vancouver next month. Steve Irwin, CBC News, Toronto.